Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, my name is Anthony Balagade. Thank you. I am the CEO of Crane Cargo, Inc. I wouldn't talk about Crane Cargo without talking about Mr. Brian here. Um, I met Brian, I think it was about 2016. Uh, at that time, I was working at another shipping company. And um, we did some business for Brian. And I remember I met him, Brian might not remember this, at uh, DCU in Waltham. Uh, there's a Dunkin' Donut DCU area. And I think I was picking up some stuff for him to ship and um, collecting payment as well. And Brian and his dad told me one thing. He told me, Anthony, you've done a very good job here. What I want for you now is for you to do your own business. And, and I, talked about, I thought about it. And I'm like, no, but what, how? He's like, if anybody can do it, this is what I want for you. As you, I want you to do it. And um, Crane Cargo was started in 2019. And uh, when I started, or when I thought about starting, one of the first phone calls I made was to Brian. And I told him, Brian, here I am. I'm starting, and I have no idea where to start. And that gentleman there put me in touch with the right people. Showed me how to set up everything. Showed, this is how you set up your business. You need a bank account. This is how you separate your funds. Talk to this person. This is, you need a credit card uh, merchant. These are the people. He brought them to my office at the time. Set up, do this like that. Do this like this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't get this loan if it's like this. Get this loan if it's like that. Don't do it like that. And I want you to grow. And not only did he show me everything, he was one of my very first clients. So he took a chance. He took a chance on, on me as me. Because he was like, Anthony, I'm, I want to help you as you. So whatever you're doing, you, you seem like a nice guy. I want you to do it. So Brian, that really stuck with me. Um, and all his real estate in Uganda... Uh, his buildings and whatever, we ship a lot of his material. He comes to me, he's like, Anthony, I want tiles, I want a sofa, I want a couch. There, you deal with it. <laughs> tell me how much. And I always tell him, okay, Brian, this is, you know, it's going to cost. He's like, don't, don't worry about that. You take care of it. And I wanted everything there. And that's the confidence he has in me and he had in me is one of the things that pushed me to be able to to succeed or to, to, to persevere because I was like, look, somebody has given me, I remember one time he called me and he had bought, I won't say the amount, but a ridiculous amount in tiles. And he was like, Home Depot is delivering this to your warehouse. And I'm like, whoa, how, when? He's like, they're there now. And I had no idea how to handle it. It was raining. I had to go and receive the tiles. And but by figuring it out, you know, because you, they say you learn management by crisis. By figuring out all of this, you know, help me create systems that I, I still implement to this day. Um, and, you know, three years later, we're still in business. And right now, I can say we are the number one shipping company in, in the diaspora for doing that. So, Brian, thank you. Thank you very much for that. I will forever be grateful. And to your father as well, because he, that is something only a father does to a son. And he did it for me. So I'm very, very grateful.